Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to install and set up OpenIV, the tool you need for modding GTA 5. I'll also walk you through how to install a car mod using OpenIV. If you follow the video carefully step by step, you'll be able to get everything working without any issues. Let's get started. First of all, we are going to use these three apps in today's video. The game will run on crossover, but we will be using Parallels Desktop for modding GTA 5. We need to download a few files first. The download links for all mentioned files are given in the description below. First, we will install the base mods, which are necessary before installing any additional mods like car add-ons. Now just download these files and follow along. If you're wondering why we need these mods first, think of it like installing lungs before you add muscles. GTA modding is deep, bro. By the way, if your fans kick in now, that's just your MacBook protesting against your life choices. Okay, okay, enough yapping. Let's download these files before my MacBook overheats just from my talking. Or worse, before you skip ahead and miss something important. Okay, now just open your downloads folder and the GTA 5 main game directory. I hope you at least know where your game is installed. Next step, make a new folder called mods in your GTA 5 game directory. Then just copy the update folder into it. Also create a new folder named scripts. We'll be needing it later on. All right. The folders are all set. Now let's get into it. Now, unzip the script hook v.net file and copy only the files shown in the video into your game directory. Unzip the script hook v file. And just like before, copy only the files shown in the video into your game directory. All right, let's move on to the pack file limit adjuster. Don't worry, we'll get to the game config a bit later in the video. Next up, install the menu trainer. It's basically a mode menu for doing crazy things. But for this video, we're mainly using it to spawn the cars we add. Next up is the heap adjuster. This is a script that helps prevent your game from crashing. Lemon UI is an optional script. It's a type of framework used by other mods. You can skip it if you're only planning to install car add-on mods. To install it, copy the files from the scripthookv.net3 folder into the scripts folder. Okay, basic modding's all set. Now we'll install OpenIV using Parallels Desktop. That's our Windows 11 virtual machine. We're just using it to set up OpenIV and do the modding part you'll still be able to play the game through crossover with zero performance loss. If you need help installing and setting up Parallels Desktop, you can check out the tutorial linked in the description. I'll also add it to the I button above. Once you boot into your Windows Virtual Machine, 
make sure to enable file sharing from Mac to Windows so we can access the game and downloads folders for modding. If your Mac's not that powerful, the VM might lag a bit at first, but don't worry. It usually smooths out after a few minutes. Now we can go ahead and run the open IV setup file that we downloaded earlier. Just follow the setup steps on screen. If it asks for any extra stuff to install, like dependencies, just go ahead and do it. Once the installation is complete, go ahead and launch OpenIV. In the GTA 5 section of OpenIV, click the small windows button. Now click on browse and select the location to your game folder. While OpenIV is starting, extract and open the game config file that we downloaded earlier. Here, look for the folder that matches your game version. If your game is the latest version, just go with the first folder. Or you can search for older versions here. Once here, select if you want to install more mods or less mods. Then just go into the stock traffic folder. Now we can just wait for OpenIV to start. Once OpenIV starts, make sure to turn on the edit mode or you will not be able to edit any files. Now go in the ASI manager from tools section and install all these three packages to install the game config, go to mods, update, update.rpf, common, then data. There, you'll find the existing game config file, which we'll now replace with the one we downloaded. Before doing that, make sure to backup this existing game config file. Now you can just drag and drop this file in OpenIV to install it. Now, whenever you download a car add-on mod, there are usually two types of installation methods. OIV installation and manual installation. First, let's install an OIV car mod, which is super simple. Just drag the OIV file into OpenIV, click install a few times and that's it. Your car mod is installed. but not all car mods come with a pre-configured OIV file. Sometimes you'll need to install them manually. So let's install this BMW mod using the manual method. Every car mod usually comes with its own installation instructions, but most of them follow the same steps. Now just go to Mods Update 
एक्स सिक्सटी फोर एंड डीएलसी पैक्स एंड जस्ट कॉपी द बी एम डब्ल्यू फोल्डर कंटेनिंग द आर पी एफ फाइल हियर If the .rpf file isn't directly inside the main car folder, like in this case where it's inside an SP subfolder, just copy it to the main car folder. In the instructions, there should be a line that needs to be added to the DLCLS.xml file in your game. Just find that line and copy it. go to mods update update dot rpf common data next find the dlc list dot xml file right click on it and select edit now go to the end of this code just before the path section and paste the line we copied above it just save the file and boom we've got the car mod installed manually the mods are in but to make sure everything works we need to install a few dependencies in the crossover bottle let's get on that head to your crossover bottle where gta 5 is installed click the install button at the bottom left search for microsoft visuals 2022 and install it Now just like before search for and install the microsoft.net framework 4.8 The .net framework 4.8 is needed for script hook v.net to run smoothly This might take some time so hang tight Next, go ahead and install DirectX for modern games.
All right, this step is crucial. If you can't open any menus in game, no matter what key combos you try, here is what you need to do. In your crossover bottle open wine configuration, head to the libraries tab and add the dinput 8 library so the game can register your inputs. And that's it. All the mods are in. Now let's open the game and enjoy those new cars. I have also installed a co-op mode for a uh, single player. Let me know if you needed a uh, tutorial on that. To spawn your new cars, just press function plus F8 twice and a menu will pop In up. In that menu, go to vehicle options, then vehicle spawner. There you'll find all your added cars and can spawn them easily. You can find the names of the cars you installed either on the mods website or in its instruction manual. Here it is. The Lamborghini CNV installed. Let's spawn it and then take it for a spin. Let's check if the BMW we installed manually is also showing up. And here it is. That means we've successfully installed a car manually. And it's working like a charm. So that's it for today's video. Actually, this is just the beginning. I'm turning this into a full series on modding GTA 5 on Mac OS. More crazy mods, more fun tweaks, and yep, more crashes too, probably. So hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.